What's going on everybody? So recently I have stopped the Windows 11 updates on my ROG Ally specifically because I was just tired of seeing consistent Windows 11 updates and honestly they stressed me out more than Shader Cache does on the Steam Deck. The updates say that they're only going to take five minutes but instead it only took five minutes for the first step and then it takes five minutes for the three other steps that are coming up. And there's always a message that says you're almost there. You're almost there. I feel like they're just lying to me while I try to take off my training wheels. All in all, the Windows updates were just too much to bear for me. So I try to stop them by using an external software called Windows Update Stop. Now, it's a simple software that stops your Windows updates, among the other 20 different softwares that can stop your Windows updates. But for the main part, the ROG Ally comes with Windows 11 Home. And Windows 11 Home doesn't have the same registry that Windows 11 Pro does. So you can't just go into your registry in Windows 11 and turn off updates or automatic updates. You actually have to download the registry and do a bunch of other steps in order to stop it. But this video is the continuation of that older video where I mentioned stopping Windows updates. And the reason why I'm making this video is because Microsoft actually listened to everybody. Right now, there is an option to stop and delay your Windows updates for actual years. I have actually stopped Windows updates on my ROG Ally for 10 years. And this is an option officially provided by Microsoft themselves. They actually listen to us in some kind of extent or way. This is the first time this has happened. And this is one of the biggest things that Microsoft has ever done, actually listening to their customers. And pretty much it's the main reason why I admit that I was wrong about stopping those Windows updates. Now, a lot of people commented and they were worried. Stopping Windows updates doesn't exactly leave your Windows 11 operating system defenseless. You can always get external defenders and antiviruses like ESET. ESET is something that I've been using since I worked at Micro Center. And you can get it on G2A for $1. That's about one year for $1 each. And the main reason I didn't like Windows updates is of course, the downloads would interrupt my gaming sessions or anything else I was trying to do while modding or downloading new music to my RG Ally. But yes, I do admit, and I realized that the comments were a lot of people that were very smart and very worried about that software. And I'm sorry that I worried you. Everything's perfectly okay with the RG Ally. There were some things that were a little finicky after not updating for about three months, but I'm not gonna be updating for 10 years. So everything's perfectly okay. I'm pretty sure my RG Ally is not even gonna last for five years, given the amount of performance and how much I use it on a day-to-day -day basis. Recently, I went on a road trip and used it almost the entire road trip. Of course, I brought my move speed. That's a different subject for a different video. But pretty much Microsoft has done the unthinkable. They have given us and provided us with an option to delay and postpone your Windows update for pretty much more than 10 years. I think this is groundbreaking. It's something that I'm probably going to regret. But for right now, I'm down five months of no Windows updates. I'm down a month of no Windows updates ever since that official Microsoft update to disable them for more than 10 years. And so far, nothing has gone wrong. Of course, I needed to update everything after that new sweet Armory Crate update showed up and the AMD software update showed up with the FSR frame generation feature. So naturally, I had to update Windows as well, and I was happy to. But after doing that, that's when that amazing 10 plus year postpone option showed up. And I just think Microsoft listened to the videos that I made before and every video that people made regarding handhelds not being a good option for the Windows operating system to be implemented into. So may as well just stop updates altogether, right, Microsoft? I think this is a fine choice if you're just sick of every single update and just don't want to be bothered. If you're just okay with the games that you have now and the battery life and performance that the ROG Ally has to offer, I feel like you can postpone it for a very long time. But of course, a lot of people do worry about having their information leaked. Well, guess what? Windows 11 leaks your information regardless if you update or not. Even if you have some kind of countermeasure like a VPN or an antivirus like ESET, your information can still get leaked with certain routers. If you stay at an Airbnb, that router can leak your information. It doesn't matter what you use. Your information will get leaked regardless. The internet 
is just this flimsy all-in-one kind of tool that we use that can pretty much be anything good and anything bad but yeah if you are feeling insecure about pausing your windows updates for as long as i did well just don't do it and probably don't provide too much credit card information or if you're going to provide it provide it and then delete it from any application you're using on your rg ally or any other windows 11 handheld gaming device but yeah this was the aftermath and somehow it was a happy ending. Microsoft listened and I'm just all smiles and happiness. I don't regret anything in terms of that Windows update stop software. But if you do want to know what happened to that software specifically, it turns out that was a trial for three months. And after that three months is done, then you have to pay for the service. So I do not recommend getting that Windows update stop software anytime soon because you're going to have to pay a pretty penny to get it to last for as long as Microsoft just provides that postponing option naturally. And if you want to comment, what do you think about postponing or just disabling Windows updates in general? I'm pretty sure I know what you're going to say, but I still support the option to stop updates. And I'm just happy that Microsoft listened and they're on the same page. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. Later.